Hi everyone and welcome to Mail Call. I don't know where to start because I have so much to share with you. I caught this in Toronto's core. I bought this at the train store. I sought after this and paid less for more. And I got this in the mail, which came to my door. So where should I start? If you recall, last year at the Syracuse train show, I purchased a G.I. Joe train. Well, this year at the Toronto train show, I got this. It is a MASH DC locomotive. Not only is this a rare collector's item, not only was the price very fair, and not only was it refurbished with Katie Coupler's, but MASH is one of Ampersand's favorite TV shows and I can't wait to show them this. I did some research and it turns out that Bachman put out a MASH train set, just like Tycho's G.I. Joe train set. Unfortunately, this is not run anymore. It ran fine when I took it out of the box, and all of a sudden, it just died. I didn't hear you say that. Because it isn't possible. But, as you can see, the light works great. And I also picked up three cars for it to pull. The tank and truck cars are from the train show, where I got the MASH locomotive. And the searchlight car is from George's Trains. That's right, my wife and I went to George's Trains in Toronto. I have never been and I was really impressed. They have lots of merchandise in stock in all scales. And it's right next to a busy rail line. So great for rail fanning. It's also across the street from Rapido. Did I tell you I met Jordan from Rapido? Like in person? And I shook his hand? I want to start building my residential scene soon, so I picked up some trees and two houses from George's Trains. These aren't ideal, but they'll do for now until I find something better. Speaking of scenes, my shoutouts go to two layout features from two great channels. The first one is Rhythm Railroad. Dan has an incredible layout and he has something that I've never ever seen before. He has a working elevator for his ferry. The ferry takes tank cars from one level up to the next. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. No, you know what? I'm not going to show you the clip. You have to go to his channel and check it out for yourself. And while you're there, he just did a video on his working coal loader. So cool. There's a link in the description for his channel, so check it out. Rhythm Railroad. I'll get to my next shout-out in a bit. While in Toronto, my wife and I had some time to fill, so we checked out the CN McMillian Yard. And even though it was Sunday, this yard was quite busy. I could have stayed there all day watching them switch tank cars and doing maneuvers. Uh, the yard is, is huge. I think it's about three kilometers long and one kilometer wide. And apparently it's the second largest yard in Canada. My wife insisted that we drive around and try to break in to the yard to try to get a better vantage point to get better video. And I'm glad she did because we caught this.
we watched auto racks being unloaded. And as you see by the footage, we didn't get very close. But it was still very cool and I'm glad we got to see it. Speaking of auto racks, have you seen Robert's latest project? CSX Man is my next shout out. He is in the midst of building an operating auto rack loader. Okay, now this is my ramp leading out of the auto racks. So what I'm going to do is actually glue this down and you can actually see that I've routed the top of the foam for the track. And it goes right around to the next motor housing. It's a brilliant idea and if you can pull it, sorry, when he pulls it off, it'll be the coolest thing on YouTube. Mind you, that train going across the swimming pool is pretty awesome. Check out Robert's channel, CSX Mad. You will not be disappointed. Well, where's the mail? I got here 10 minutes ago. Um, I've got it, sir. Well, is there anything for me? Okay, let's go to the couch and see what I got in the mail. Hi, Gucci. Remember those books in the mail? So Jack Jack was having a sale on his channel, locomotives and some tank cars, and I couldn't resist the good prices. And he gave a discount on the tank cars if you bought locomotives. So it's a lot bigger than I thought. So this is the locomotive. From Scale Trains. I'm not going to show you just yet. And there's the tank car that I got. Pro Fire White. Looks a bit weathered. sound too. DCC. So I'm going to try the layout, see if it works. Where's it?
Well, Jack-Jack, thanks a lot. This works great. This is my very first locomotive from Scala Trains. It's also my first, I believe, six axle locomotive. And it's my first tier four Jivo, so sounds great, works great, very happy with it. Thanks a lot, Jack-Jack. Attention all personnel, coming up next. That's it for this episode of Mail Call. Be sure to check out Rhythm Railroad and CSX Mad. I want to thank Jack Jack for the new items. I want to thank George's Trains. And of course, I want to thank my lovely wife who sat patiently in the car while I took footage of the CN Yard. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, kick tear. Shh, there, there. It's okay. Size does not matter. It's how much weight you can pull. Uh, shh, that's okay. This is outrageous. It's completely unfair. Oh, no, Major. This is uh, not an unusual occurrence at all.